The UAE, Saudi Arabia and Egypt recently released a list of 59 individuals which it claims are terrorists with links to Qatar. Among those on the list is Libyan scholar and Imam Sheikh Sadiq al ghuriani also the official Grand Mufti of Libya. The absurdity of this list already remains clear for most people. However, let's take a look at why he was placed on the list. Firstly, he has been a stern voice against warlord and ex Qaddafi general Khalifa Haftar, who controls most of eastern Libya and has turned the so called heart of Libya, Benghazi, into ruins. Human rights organizations have documented violations by Haftar's forces, which include torture, rape, the burning of corpses, and indiscriminately shelling civilian areas. The UAE, Egypt and Saudi Arabia are all allies of Khalifa Haftar and play a central role in funding and supporting Haftar's forces. In addition to that, Egypt, and especially the UAE, have committed their own share of atrocities. The UAE, for instance, bombed the district of Ghanfouda in Benghazi, which led to a girl named Fatiha suffering second-degree burns. Egypt was behind the bombing of a residential area in the city of Derna, which also led to the death of a mother and her children. Khaliyani has been a stern voice against these atrocities committed, and hence he is seen as an obstacle to Emirati, Saudi and Egyptian interests, hindering them from enforcing their aggressive policies. ترون الطائرات اللي مرة تضرب ليلة نهار وتقتل المدنيين هذا لا يسمى تدخل بالله عليكم يا جامعة عربية ويا أفارقة. A man of no compromise, Sheikh Ghadiani has been a vocal voice for the implementation of a pure Islamic constitution with no remnants of the secular reign of Muammar al-Qaddafi. Ghadiani has been critical of Haftar's forces and their at times near blasphemous statements. <laughs> Despite all of this, Sheikh Sadiq al ghadiani still has a lot of support inside and outside of Libya and is regarded as one of the most well-versed scholars in the Maliki field of jurisprudence. Despite his odd designation by the UAE, KSA and Egypt, it does nothing to diminish him in the eyes of most Muslims. <laughs>